All right, now we need to do the same thing to find your memory controller device ID or DRAM controller device ID or host bridge device ID, you know, many different names for the same thing. And that's going to be, again, go to the PCI device, look at 16 bits at a time. And here you're going to do bus zero, device zero, function zero, and offset two. So this is where you're going to find the DRAM controller, host bridge, whatever you want to call it. I call it DRAM controller throughout most of the class. And again, you can have an option to do that in Linux using LSPCI, saying bus zero, device zero, function zero. Then this offset two is what you're going to care about. In macOS terminal using IO reg, looking for the MCHC and the offset two here is what you care about. And chipsec bus zero, device zero, function zero, offset two, two bytes. And that'll give you what you care about. But again, look at the website, not these, because these will get out of date. Same thing as before in that you would historically look up the device ID in the PCI device IDs list and it would tell you, oh, you've got a fourth generation core processor, DRAM controller, and then you'd say, oh, well, I know I must have a fourth generation core as well processor. And same thing as before, you know, the Mac being a special snowflake, its particular device ID is not actually listed on this, but it is actually found in the below data sheet. So once again, go to the website, you know, it'll have the instructions on how to pull out your DRAM controller device ID, and then it'll have a pointer to the right data sheets. You should go into the data sheets and make sure you can find that device ID or its range inside of them, because you're gonna to need to use those data sheets throughout the rest of the class.